and what they need. Will, a very good morning to you. What have they been saying? Good morning. Yes, I've been getting a bit of an idea for how people are feeling, particularly about the cost of living crisis, as well as the Sue Gray report. It's a conversation that I've been having over the last few weeks and months, whether people still care about these Downing Street parties, whether they cared about them before. Now, when it's actually landed and they've got the Sue Gray report digitally or actually in their hands, if they fancied printing out a hard copy, it's really interesting to hear how people feel because it does seem to have hit a little bit um, less impactfully than most people were expecting. I think sometimes there is a different world compared to Twitter and what we might call the real world, the high street, where people are struggling with this cost of living crisis, where we are seeing 9% rate of inflation for April. Obviously, a massive part of that is the off-gen price cap rise, the war in Ukraine, how that's affecting the money in people's pockets. Um, now we are seeing... Of course, the Sue Gray report, 83 people receiving uh, fixed penalty notices. One of them was the Prime Minister. One of them was the Chancellor. The Prime Minister yesterday said that he's refusing to resign. He's not going to be going anywhere. And uh, while he regrets what happened and he's apologised on, I think, numerous occasions, um, he does really want to move on from this. And that's when we are seeing this news that the Chancellor today at around 11.30 is expected to announce this new rate of packages, this new wave of, uh, of funding to help with the cost of living crisis. It's these billion pound packages funded uh, what many people are expecting to hear today by a windfall tax. That windfall tax on profits on big oil companies like BP, like Shell, something that they've been trying to steer themselves away from in interviews for the last few months, something that Labour keeps trying to put them back on track to talk about, whether it's in the House of Parliament, whether it's in uh, question time, Prime Minister's questions and it does seem today that following on from the Sue Gray report they are so eager to move on whether it's because of uh, the actual necessity and the actual desire to deal with the cost of living crisis through a tax that they uh, naturally would never go to because of their conservative values um, or if it's for um, uh, just uh, wanting to move on from the Sue Gray report as quickly as they can that they're abandoning some of those values so I think we're going to see more of them uh, today more of the news of course we are speaking to people here in Eastwood a fairly working class town in Nottinghamshire and we'll be speaking to cafe owners and other businesses about how they're expecting the news to go today and whether it will really help them if they are getting hundreds of pounds off of their energy bills later this year.